Hello, Space Coast. Welcome to the News in 90 Seconds. I'm Rob Landers, bringing you some of today's top local stories. A Florida Department of Corrections inmate serving a methamphetamine-related sentence escaped from a work release camp Friday night in Sharps, and he remains at large. Nathan Barker, 22, was being held at the Cocoa Bridge Community Release Center on Camp Road, located just east of the Bravern County Jail Complex. This facility is an 84-bed residential substance abuse treatment program. Reporter Rick Neal has all the details in his story on FloridaToday.com. With passenger service from Orlando to Miami beginning within the next few months, Brevard residents and officials are asking, what about a Brightline stop here? Officials for the company have made no decisions about adding a future Brevard station along its nearly completed $5 billion Orlando to South Florida rail extension. Florida Today did ask CEO Mike Renninger about the possibility of Coco and or Melbourne getting a station. While he dodged the question in traditional fashion, saying the company would need to look at cost and demand, he did hint that Port Canaveral, being the largest cruise port in the world, might tip the scales towards Coco and drawing crowds flying in from Orlando, but also traveling from South Florida. Read more in our Brightline story on floridatoday.com. A 25-year-old Coca woman was killed and four passengers were injured, including three children, in a Saturday single-vehicle crash in the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge, the Florida Highway Patrol reported. Get the details on the accident in our story on floridatoday.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information on the Space Coast. Visit floridatoday.com slash subscribe. And that's 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.